Hey guys, it's Shane from Jags Journeys. I'm back today at Dreamwheel Theme Park in the Gold Coast. Here's today for another Rivertown and Jungle Rush construction update, uh, plus another quick look around Dreamworld. And obviously it still is winter fest at the moment, through until the 14th of July. It is snowing, uh, well there's fake snow coming down on me right now. Uh, but you can enjoy Winterfest here at Dreamworld with your entry ticket until the 14th of July. I'd suggest to come in and check that out. Uh, there is one more Snowy Nights event on tonight, the night of filming this video, which is the 6th of July. Uh, so if you didn't get along to one of those events, um, maybe next year try and get along to one. They were pretty awesome. Winterfest at night, it was a great event. Uh, I do have a video out on that one. You can check that one out as well. Anyway, let's go now and check it all out. So why don't you come along with me and join the journey. Just arrived into Dream World now. It is a bit of a cool day today. I got the jumper on today, um, but still, it's a fine day. But um, first of all, I'm going to head down to near the motor coaster and check out the uh, construction for Rivertown. Let's go check it out. All right, so uh, as I'm heading down here, the uh, map still hasn't been replaced yet uh, out of the uh, framework there. Um, but I did hear that potentially. They have started to maybe retheme the motor coaster. We'll go check that out now. Now, I believe uh, nothing's been announced, but I'm pretty sure this is going to get rethemed because I did hear a whisper that they've removed the McDoin motorcycles from the store and from inside the ride. We're going to confirm that now, so let's go and check it out. So yes, it's been removed from the store. There was always one at the front of the store here as well, one of those motorbikes, and that's now gone. Now they have also uh, removed the uh, test seat. Uh, it was located uh, just along there a bit further. And just sitting here, obviously it's not connected up at the moment. So uh, sitting there currently, uh, so obviously it is, uh, it's on the move or maybe being removed. Uh, we'll see, or we'll rethemed perhaps, if it's getting rethemed. So yeah, you can see right through into uh, River Town through here. Uh, there's definitely been some concreting done through there. Anyway, just heading into essentially up to the uh, queuing area. We might actually go to the queue exit area. All right, so up here, usually they have the McDoom motorcycles in the display case, and yes, they have actually been removed. My thoughts are, if they've removed this display, unless uh, old Mick Doohan just wanted his bikes back, which possibly could be, could be the case, um, I reckon that's possibly an indication that this may be getting rethemed. Don't know for sure, could be speculating, or I am speculating. Have to wait and see. We'll uh, 
keep you updated. Okay, so this is my thoughts. I think this will be turned into the gift store for Rivertown. It would make sense, it's right there. So therefore, they definitely have to re-theme this ride. I definitely think we're at stage one of, of that process by removing the McDoom motorbikes. Stay tuned for more. So this is essentially the uh, entrance to Rivertown from the motor coaster and a lot of work is definitely happening in here. I can see some concreting that's happened over to the left hand side. Definitely lots and lots and lots of work happening. It's been a couple of weeks since I've done an update here. So yeah, and then this essentially is the Marisipi end of Rivertown as well. All right, so I'm gonna have a look now uh, at the rest of the Rivertown and Jungle Rush construction uh, by checking out the other ends or other vantage points that we have uh, throughout the park here. So we're gonna head down towards Kenny's Forest Fire and then Tiger Island and across from there as well and we'll check it out and see what progress they've made since my last visit. And by the way, uh, as I mentioned, uh, Winterfest event is on here at Dreamworld and uh, be sure to try some of the uh, European foods and themed drinks and things they have around the park. Uh, one of the things, well, actually a couple of things you can get here from the ice cream parlor uh, is the apple bites and the jam donuts. So you're looking at 1450 with cinnamon, cinnamon sugar dusted apple bites, the scoop of ice cream and powdered sugar, and you got jam donuts for 1450, which is the mini jam filled donut, cinnamon sugar served with a scoop of ice cream as well. Check that out. So you're about to get them here at the Dreamworld ice cream parlor, and um, yeah, they are absolutely delicious. So make sure you check it out. And over here at the Green Bean Coffee Co, which also has very delicious uh, coffee as well. And we've got an uh, Italian hot chocolate. I featured this on my uh, Winterfest and Snowy Nights video. But again, $7 for it's an Italian hot chocolate. And uh, you can add whipped cream and you can add marshmallows, 50 cents each. And uh, yeah, I think this is something to try during Winterfest here at Dreamworld. And over at uh, Kenny's Fried Chicken, uh, again, I featured this on my other video, but chicken and waffles, uh, $22.90 for this one. Very delicious, I hear. How good is the Dreamwell fly? Alright, so gonna head through Kenny and Belinda's Dreamland uh, down towards uh, the Kenny's Forest Fire to check out the vantage point from there for Jungle Rush and Rivertown. Now we've also got to be careful when you walk past here, these squirt you and they get you. So you're really gonna be quick, they will actually get you. And I don't wanna get wet in a cold daylight today. And by the way, you can catch a Wiggles show at the Dream of Theatre. Show times are posted out the front. There it is, Kenny's Forest Fire. So we're going to head around the back queuing area to get our vantage point.
Now just on my way to the uh, queuing area and it looks like they've uh, put in a little access way into here now which is great because people used to just go straight through the gardens there so uh, yeah that's really cool that they've again done some more changes and improvements here at Dreamworld. So you get a really good look at the uh, track now. Um, now, apparently the track is basically completed. Now, I say that, but uh, as you can see, there's it's still a piece where it's uh, sort of finished up over there and, and again over here. And the reason why it'll still be uh, essentially a, a couple of months before that gets joined, even though it could just be joined in a day or two, um, is because they still need access uh, through that area to get to uh, Jungle Rush. With the crane and everything like that so um, that's why you'll see that track won't be completely connected yet for um, probably for a couple of months um, once the uh, work's done there with the cranes and everything then that'll be the track will be connected all right so just if you're wondering why it's taking long to finish the track that's exactly why i think we could expect to see trains running maybe early october this is due for a December open. That's that's my thoughts. We'll see. Definitely a lot more framework has gone up. There's a whole another piece out the front there that's gone up since my last visit. We'll get a closer look uh, through the Tiger Island end shortly. But uh, wow, look at the progress, guys. It looks amazing. And uh, tell you what, we're pretty excited for this to be open in December. All right, just started to rain, but uh, so this is again the entrance into Rivertown. Uh, I believe the motor coaster uh, shop will become the Rivertown um, souvenir store, <coughs> gift store, and I believe the ride will definitely be rethemed to something else. Uh, 100%, I'm sure of that. Uh, again, nothing's been announced or anything like that, but I'm just sure it would absolutely make so much sense that this gets rethemed and they've already removed the McDoan's motorbikes and I think that's the start of it. We'll see. If you have a look at the, um, the building up there, obviously it's, it's uh, a bit weathered in that as well. So definitely it's going to get a refresh with all this whole new uh, area going in at the end of the year. So uh, watch this space. We'll keep you updated. You heard it here first in Jag's Journeys. Um, make sure you stay tuned to Jag's Journeys. If you're watching this and you're not subscribed, it's free to subscribe. Make sure you subscribe, please and uh, keep you up to date with all the uh, all my journeys and uh, including all the roller coaster construction uh, it's going on on the gold coast that's um, both movie world here and here at dream world as well so um, we'll always have regular updates on the construction and of course once everything's open uh, we'll take you for through uh, through those areas for a walkthrough as well you can do that all here on jake's journeys don't forget i've also got uh, usa content universal studios there's more content to come for Universal Studios in Hollywood. Stay tuned for more. Yeah, so again, this will be the Mississippi Motors end as well. So it looks like they've uh, obviously doing some groundwork now in preparation for that. I cannot wait to see this starting to take shape as well. And I also can't wait to see that plane going in down the back there. This is all really exciting. So uh, well, Serpent Slayer was uh, reopened again. Uh, it's actually down today. I'm not sure what's going on there, but uh, anyway, always check the website for the ride maintenance schedule uh, so that you have the most up-to-date information about the rides. Don't forget, there's an awesome splash zone down here at uh, Dreamworld. Not so popular here in winter, but definitely once summer comes, you got to check it out. And make sure you check out Captain Calamari as well. And again, with the Winterfest theme, the uh, Tigers are all dressed up in their winter attire. And don't forget, uh, when you're down here at uh, Tiger Island, 12 o'clock daily, they have a, a tiger presentation. And I'll tell you what, it's definitely worth doing. I have filmed it before, and there's videos of that on my uh, channel. 
but it's really awesome to see the tigers here at Dreamworld and when they do the presentation it's very very interesting and uh, yeah I definitely recommend checking it out and it is also a covered um, grandstand as well so if it is raining a little bit down here you will have a little bit of cover here in the grandstand. All right, we're gonna sneak up the back steps to get a vantage point for Jungle Rush. Let's check it out. You can, see, you can already see the, uh, the new piece extending out the framework here already. Let's have a look. Well, I tell you what, this whole piece here is new since my last visit. So again, we knew that wasn't gonna be the, the final uh, part of the building because in the artwork is all this out here and I remember this ride is essentially dark ride as well as a roller coaster um, many different pathways forwards and reverse this roller coaster is going to be absolutely amazing I think there's something like 12 airtime moments on this ride as well it's going to be crazy so um, yeah a lot of this ride obviously will start off uh, inside the building where you'll uh, get on and exit as well and then there's heaps of theming up here this is pretty cool i tell you this is amazing look how massive this area is and again there's they've put more of the themed panels up on the other side now so from the inside uh it'll feel like you're in that temple and the jungle and obviously the outside will have theming as well uh soon as well but yeah check out the, the scale of this building it's it's massive and again, from where we're standing, it, uh, it's probably bigger again from when you're actually down there, when you're actually inside the structure, it would be bigger again from, from this sort of vantage point. It's still massive, but things always look almost smaller when you're further back. Certainly looking awesome and very impressive indeed. Uh, we're going to head around now by the Billabong restaurant to see if we can see any uh, kind of construction or anything they're doing down there because they are doing work in that restaurant. And then we'll see what we can see from across here back to the construction area of the Jungle Rush. Well, there's definitely still a lot of work going on inside the Billabong restaurant. So uh, again, can't see too much more yet, but. Uh, whenever we see anything in there that we can update you on, we will certainly let you know. And again, as I mentioned before, uh, you can see where the track ends there and uh, it'll be a little while yet before that's connected due to the access of uh, machinery and cranes such as this to get through to the main structure here. I tell you what, that structure really does come out a lot further now, doesn't it? Now that you're seeing it from this angle, that's crazy. Definitely great to see a massive amount of progress since my last visit. Again, here in Jake's Journeys, we'll continue to provide you regular construction updates right through until the opening of Jungle Rush and Rivertown. Make sure you subscribe for more. Just heading through the Corroboree. Uh, I haven't been back through here for a while. Uh, I'm gonna head back to the front of the park because the Tiger Show had just started. So I couldn't get access back through that way. So I thought, why not go for a nice, leisurely walk through the Corroboree and maybe check out some animals along the way. We might even have a look at the uh, vintage car, see if we can see uh, anything through the gates, give you an update. Of course, that is now reopening 
29th of December, which in my opinion means it's never reopening, it's just going to be in Mississippi Motors in the new river town. All right, so down at the Vintage Cars, uh, it says it's temporarily off-road and we'll be cruising around again soon. And again, as I mentioned, the website now says uh, 29th of December. But as we know, Mississippi Motors will be opening before that date. So I'd say these will be closed until, well, basically from now, I think that's it. So we'll try and get a peek through the gap in the fence and see what we can see. I would be probably saying that there has been no work at all completed down here or even started since the tornado in December. Possibly a, a large tree might have been removed or two, but uh, there's been, uh, yeah, definitely no work. So I think it's safe to say that we will not see the vintage cars in this location any longer. We'll have to enjoy the new ones in Marisavie Motors in Rivertown. Hopefully opening in December. I guess it just wouldn't make sense to spend all that money on something that's really only going to be open for a few more months. So um, it definitely makes sense not to reopen it here. And again, we'll look forward to the new vintage cars or the new version in the new location, the Mississippi Motors. Look at this guy here, he's having a good time in the background, isn't he? <laughs> anyway, uh, we'll go check out the rest of the park. I haven't been down here for a while, but this looks new. It's uh, you can play the whip crack game down here. So check it out, it looks pretty cool. That whip crack game possibly could have been there for ages and ages. I've actually just never noticed it or seen it before. Anyway, it's free and you can do it down here at the Corroboree, that's around where the snakes are as well, and near the emus. That's pretty cool, something different. And it looks like the dingoes are just uh, relaxing in the sun. Why not, it's a little bit of a cool day today, so if there's a little bit of sun, why not soak it up? Uh, you can also do a dingo experience here at Dreamworld. Uh, just get onto their website and book through there. Apparently it's awesome. So a lot of the uh, theming for the Jungle Rush roller coaster uh, that was sitting in the car park, obviously the most of it's uh, here and getting installed, but there's also a whole stack of it that's uh, stored in behind me here, sort of down toward the corroboree. Like where the log ride used to be, they're actually storing a lot of that stuff in here currently until they're ready to put it uh, into the Jungle Rush. So uh, at first when I saw something over there, I thought, ah, oh, there's some construction going on or something, but no. Uh, they're just storing stuff for the jungle rush. Well, today is an extremely windy day, so unfortunately, the giant drop is not able to operate in these high winds today. So if you are here on a very windy day, the likelihood is this may not be open.
Time to go and get a coffee. Hey guys, I just want to say a really big thanks to Chloe Marshall, the Smith family from Cairns, and to Slink Man. Thank you all so much for buying me coffees this week. And in fact, some of you bought multiple coffees, and for that, I thank you very much. It really does help support my channel. And if anyone else would like to support my channel just like they did, the link is in the description below. It's also on screen now. By buying me coffees, definitely helps me bring more videos just like this straight to you. I'm an I'm an hey guys, I was just going to get a coffee and uh, look who I ran into. It's Ejector Bear Time. G'day, how's it going? It's an awesome YouTube channel. Again, Ejector Bear Time. Uh, you gotta. You can check that one out for sure, but he's from Sydney and uh, he's checking out uh, all the Gold Coast theme parks and what's your thoughts on uh, everything you've seen so far? It's been really good. Um, I've hit sort of the trifecta of the really big coasters here, so I've done Leviathan, Steel Taipan and DC Rivals. DC Rivals is my new number one. How it's cool amazing. is that? Oh, it's so good. Did it forwards and backwards. Backwards yeah. is insane. Well, I haven't done a backwards yet, but uh, oh, it's good. Oh man. <laughs> The restraint is doing all the heavy lifting while oh, he's okay. bringing it backwards. Yeah, it's the yeah. only thing keeping you in there. Even going up the lift hill and you're just looking down backwards, it is just keeping you there and it is terrifying but it's amazing at the same time. Oh, I have to get it done one day. Yeah. <laughs> for oh, sure. It's totally worth it. Yeah. And you've uh, had a look around Dreamworld at the construction for yeah, River Town and Jungle Rush? Really cool. Um, so the temple sort of seems to have doubled in size. Yeah, um, great. So, and I still think there's a little bit left to go. Like, they've still got to cover where the station part of the track is. Absolutely, yeah. I think you're right. So, uh, every week I come here, and there's so much more. Like, the, the progress is incredible, actually. So, it blows my mind. Yeah. So, um, they reckon um, the, the track's not completed, but uh, that's because I still need to get a crane and to do all the, the crane work. Yeah. So, uh, they could complete the track literally within a day or two but um but yeah. they need that driving access yeah so probably um a couple more months i reckon and then i believe my opinion on this i reckon october maybe even september we'll see trains running really i reckon Absolutely. i reckon we could maybe early october um could the studio open in december so i reckon that would make sense yeah. and uh we'll see heaps more theming obviously as well happening between now and then but yeah it's exciting to see the things program. are just ramping up so quickly yeah it's absolutely insane. Right. even over at movie world yeah. um wizard of oz you can see they're probably ready to start testing anytime anytime oh, soon surely surely <laughs> surely, surely. <laughs> i reckon you're absolutely right they'd have to be testing by now yeah i mean i reckon they're trying to have that open by the end of november even though they're saying it's sort of like the end of the year november or december the, the Wicked movie comes out in November. That's it's so, perfect timing. Yeah. Not only Wicked, be. Flight of the Wicked Witch, but yeah. Kansas Twister, the Twister oh, sequel the Twisters, that's yeah. just about to open. Correct, yes, exactly right. So, so I think yeah. it's a little bit of you know forward thinking on their part. I think so too. So yeah, exciting to see that. You're coming back Absolutely. for the opening. Yeah. yeah. So this is sort of part one of, you know, trip to Queensland. Awesome. Do a couple of parks in between and then come back once um you know, once that's all over. Awesome, awesome. So yeah, you'll see some massive change then on your next visit, whether it's when it's open or in between then. It'll be uh, huge uh, to see so much change and uh, it's going to be exciting to ride it all oh, as well. So, And I love TNT down at Gambaya, so yeah, Flight of the that? Wicked Witch is going to be just as good, hopefully. That is a really awesome ride, actually. It's I love so that ride. Good. Like, the Absolutely. theming is really simple, but it's, yeah, it, it, it I still tell the story. 100%. I love Gambaya World, actually. So I love to get back there in summer so I can enjoy the water park and the theme park. Yeah. So yeah, cool. All right, well, uh, it was really good to meet you and uh, make sure you check out Ejector Bear Time on YouTube. He's on Instagram as well. Uh, just YouTube. Yeah. Just YouTube, sorry. So yeah. you should be on Instagram as well. <laughs> check him out on YouTube and uh, yeah, make sure you subscribe to Ejector Bear Time yeah. as well. Yeah, check it out and I'll be traveling around Australia showing you what it's like to ride coasters as a big and tall person. There you go. Make sure you check it out. Uh, they do these awesome cob loaves here for fourteen ninety. You've got bacon, double cheese, spring onion, and then there's baby spinach, caramelised onion, 
and parmesan as well. Part of the uh, Winterfest uh, menu here at Dreamworld. Hey guys, I just want to wish Emma a very happy birthday for the 5th of July and I also want to wish Zachary Smith a happy 10th birthday for the 10th of July. I hope you both have an awesome day on your birthdays from Shane at Jags Journeys. Now if you didn't make it to a snowy night, no worries, as long as you can try and get to Dreamworld these holidays uh, before the 14th to enjoy Winterfest during the day, because the nighttime event is essentially the same other than rides at night, and of course the park looks amazing at night, we'll lit up, and the VIP package for the night is different as well, but you can still do tobogganing, ice skating and everything else for Winterfest during the day. So now that it's daytime, we actually get a better look in this area of the theming. Uh, I'm not going to go back into the ice maze, but out here there's quite large penguins, ice bricks, um, there's even a whale as well. Am I a sea world? Oh, you know you're at Winterfest uh, when it's snowing during the day. And something a bit different this year for Winterfest is the uh, marshmallow toasting. Uh, featured this on my Snowy Nights video. It is open during the day as well for Winterfest. There's no one in here at the moment. $5 for a single marshmallow, uh, 8 for 2 10 if, for, uh, if you want the s'more. Um, at night time, all the flames you know, light up. It looks, obviously uh, looks better at night time. Uh, it is open now. So during the day, it's not so busy. You can come in here and toast some marshmallows. Pretty cool. And down this end of the park, uh, toward the ice skating, you've also got the Barrel Smokehouse open. They do awesome foods in here as well. You get burgers and even Cranstie's uh, hot dogs in there. And you'll find the ice skating down here at the uh, Exhibition Centre. And there's another photo op here. I uh, showed this on the night as well, but it's essentially like a chairlift here, uh, which is just obviously for photo opportunity, but uh, looks pretty cool. Something different they bring out every year here at uh, Winterfest. And don't forget to visit the Charos stand and get a freshly made Charos here at Dreamworld. By the way, guys, just want to make mention they've got some new uh, food beverage carts here at Dreamworld. Now, these are the uh, Electric ones, so these ones here uh, pretty much so the staff don't have to push or pull these with the weight in it. So these are the same ones they use at Disneyland. Uh, if you're familiar, if you've been overseas, uh, I'll tell, tell you what, this is uh, pretty good to see that they've got these now at Dreamworld and they can get these around the park with ease throughout the day. So that's pretty cool and they're very nice looking units as well. And of course this is the ice tobogganing that you can do here at Winterfest during the school holidays here at Dreamworld. And again, this is a free activity to do. You just have to line up and then go to the top, grab a tube and slide down like these people. Hey guys, that's gonna do it for my look today here at Dreamworld theme park in the Gold Coast. Uh, quick update today on the progress of Rivertown, Jungle Rush. Heaps happening there, excited to see the progress and we'll keep you updated with more progress there. And uh, also it's good to see 
uh, everyone's coming in back to Dreamworld and experiencing and enjoying Winterfest, uh, which is on these school holidays right through until the 14th of July. So if you haven't already been down here, uh, please check it out. It is a great event. You can do ice skating, you can do tobogganing, winter foods, there's shows on, there's toasting marshmallows as well. So uh, all in all, it's pretty cool. There's also a, an Arctic ice maze as well that you can do. So lots to do here at Dreamworld these school holidays. Anyway guys, if you did enjoy the video, make sure you give us a like. Uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel to keep the journey going. Uh, that's always greatly appreciated. And if you want to support the channel, you can do so by uh, buying me a coffee. Uh, the QR code's on screen now. Link's also in the description as well. Anyway guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next journey.